I'm genuinely concerned at the moment about a sudden gust sweeping me into the canal. I've uh, just dropped out of the wind for a few minutes uh, in the hope that you can actually hear me. Um... When I came to editing this video, I realized that the wind and the weather hadn't cooperated at all and I could barely be heard in this initial part. And so I decided to seek the shelter and the warmth of my own home in order to be able to share a few of my thoughts. It is kind of appropriate though that the weather was so nasty because I wanted to talk about motivation and especially how you get motivated on, on days like this one. And in over 48 years of training, to a greater or lesser extent, for both running and cycling, I've developed a lot of my own strategies to help maintain motivation. Some of these are pretty obvious and, and some are very, very specific to me. And I thought I'd like to share a few of those motivational techniques with you today. But you know what I'll do? I'll carry on riding for a bit and I'll find somewhere that's really better sheltered and then I'll share with you the first of those motivational techniques. It's so hard to find anywhere to get out of the wind. The wind is actually blowing directly across those fields and it's been in my face for about the last four or five kilometers so it's fantastic training. Anyway, uh, I was going to talk about motivation. Um, things that I do to keep myself motivated on days like today. The first thing I do, well, I'm actually really interested in history and points of interest, in quirkiness, and so I'll often um, incorporate going to see one of these sites into my ride. So, for example, I've been to Cheltenham Badlands, uh, Shan Dam. Uh, I even went on hunt of what I thought was a disused reptile zoo. Um, I located Pierre Burton's uh, former residence which is now um, sadly derelict um, and so it actually gives me a focus and a point to the ride just beyond riding and so that always helps me get out it always keeps the rides very very different having that little goal in mind and then the next motivational technique is almost a complete reverse of that because I have several routes and several rides that uh, I repeat again and again and again and this is to give me an idea of if I'm improving. Some of them have huge hills on that I've struggled on in the past and I've noticed recently that uh, those, those hills I am actually doing a little bit better. Um, I also time the complete route and so that gives me an idea if I'm improving and then there are certain sections that, uh, that I'll time as well. So almost the reverse of the first one. The second one is to, to repeat. Maybe it's a bit boring, but it certainly gives me motivation when I'm out on a ride to see if I can actually beat my previous time. So that's two. I'm going to carry on for a bit and see if I can find somewhere else to duck into to, to give you the next, uh, next couple of uh, motivational techniques that I use. It's getting very tough. Very, very tough. Under Highway 400 has to be one of the strangest places to come and try to get to a little bit of peace and quiet to talk but it does actually seem to be a bit quieter than most other places um, in fact it's really quite peaceful without the wind now the next strategy that I use that is probably I think the most effective one for me personally is that I write everything down and I don't mean record things in Strava or keep them in your phone I write my rides down on a uh, great big planner that I have in a room that I go to before and after work so it's always there it's always right in my face and last week when I have to admit I was struggling with motivation I had my rest day written down and then the next day I came home and I just couldn't motivate myself so I had another rest day 
and it actually went to three rest days and I wrote motivational issues on there as well and just seeing that it really really shouted at me so the day after that I then forced myself onto the bike still not feeling 100% motivated but by the end of that ride my brain had clicked back in and I was right back at it um, if I didn't have things written down in a, in a real visual way that I'm going to see every day then I possibly would let things slide so for me that's really really effective while I'm here in a, a surprisingly uh, quiet spot I'll add another one of uh, the techniques that I use and that is setting goals and I know a lot of you are going to say well that's really pretty obvious you know most people do set goals but there are some caveats I do have long-term goals things like one day eventually I'd like to ride an unbound but more effective I think is to keep fairly short-term goals normally my goals are no more than two or three months in advance the next goal that I have is the Paris to Ancaster race um, I'm not looking to do a specific time um, but I would like to ride well I would like to finish that and not uh, collapse in a heap uh, like a plate of jelly and so that's keeping me motivated that's getting me out there that's getting me out into the the, the, the wind and the cold today uh, and uh, putting the miles in um, the next goal after that it's uh, possibly going to be or probably going to be another race I'm thinking probably Reggie Ramble in the middle of the year it doesn't have to be a race though many of you I know do not race some of you have said you would like to in the future so maybe that's your long-term goal but it could just be that you want to, to go on a bike packing trip or you want to ride on a rail trail or you want to do your first ever 100 kilometer or 100 mile ride and so it doesn't have to be a race but really the uh, the goal for, for me personally I think the goal should not be too far in advance or else it becomes watered down you can sometimes lose focus and uh, then it's not so effective in keeping you motivated And finally one that feels kind of quite specific to me and that is a huge motivation for me is that I really enjoy going out riding and filming and having this interaction with with you and so that's just a huge motivation quite often I get really really excited about the filming and then just, just somewhat excited about the ride but at the end of the day I end up getting the benefits of both that may not be something that well it's probably something that most of you wouldn't be interested in but perhaps you know you enjoy photographing your rides uh, putting them on Instagram or just keeping them for yourselves somewhere I'm sure there's something that you can add to a ride that will add to the motivation finally I'd just like to say if you're not feeling motivated don't beat yourself up about it we all go through these ebbs and flows and sometimes there are things that are uh, outside of our control or at least outside of cycling that are affecting our ability to motivate ourselves for that you'll get back into it perhaps use some of these techniques that I've suggested perhaps you have your own techniques but you will get back into it because cycling is something that's really really difficult to get out of your system I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video I hope you appreciate the fact that I've been out here riding into these icy headwinds just to bring this to you if you have enjoyed it as always please remember hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i shall see you on the next ride <laughs>